Okay, we come to the highlight of the topics, which is the DFA manual table. How we done DFA analysis manually. Okay, uh, this is the highlight of the topics and the heart of the FMA. So it's important, and you must know how to complete this table. Okay, first column is the net part names. It's simpler, right? And sometimes parts have many revision. Ada revision 1, 2, 3. Then, so every revision have their own ID. Okay, calling ID. Setiap satu part, mesti dan setiap revision itu akan diberikan identification code. Okay, it's simple. That's basically, it's, it's a norm. Every part have identification code. It's, it's been practiced in it. It's what it is was been practiced in industry. Okay. So number two. Times of the operation is carried out consecutively. Means like if you have oops sorry. Okay. If you have a plate to to assemble a plate using a four screw you need a four, four screw right. Is it, this is four screw. Let's say this is a screw screw for number A for A screw so part there is S X 1 ok so ada berapa ada berapa berapa ada berapa operation ada berapa uh, yang perlu di carry out operation to di carry out means ada 4 lah ok 4 times ok if screw tu pada operation, operation lain ok that's been in another process so now for this process Consecutively ni dia punya keyword mesti berturut. Okay, next where you get this this uh okay next is two digit manual handling codes and handling times per part. Okay, where you get the code where you get the times. This is from the worksheet from a worksheet figure five point one. Why is it five? Huh? I think five tak adalah. Cukup. Okay. Okay, for figure one and figure two. These two is from a from a work from worksheets. Uh, first you might identify the code, and the from from the code it will bring you to the suggested time. Uh, same also same to the manual insertion insertion handling. No, sorry, insertion code. You must identify the two digit code and then it will bring you to the um, times uh, process on insert the parts. Okay, sama lah. Uh, this is here. I show you. Maybe I need to show you this one. This is manual handling. Sorry, this is manual handling worksheet. And then later I will show you how to read the the code, how to get it, and how to read and get the code, and then we can come to the times that been suggested. Okay, this is the manual insertion. Same lah. Okay, the numbers uh, on column on the next column point number seven is operation time. Operation times is we get the operation times by multiply point number two. Point number two. This is point number two. Point number two multiply by point number four plus point number five. Okay, multiply this. Okay. Next, for the uh, next column is point number 8, operation cost. The operation cost for this process is 0 0.4 multiply column number 7. Oh, point number 7. Simple and easy, right? Okay, the point number 9. I will explain it later on the last uh, sh sharing session for these topics. Okay. The next, oh sorry, next come, okay this is, fig this is what I've been explained before, Man manual handling 
and manu manual fastening and insertion guideline figure 1 and 2 figure 1 and figure 2 figure 2 okay okay next okay this is the theoretical assembly time you can you are going to calculate it using the table also we must to com we must complete the table first okay first of all this is the the first of all you must know how you must know the effect of symmetry for handling times okay parts ni untuk untuk kita identify and, and use the worksheet kita kena tahu macam mana proses tu berlaku dan macam mana parts tu bentuk dia what's the shape of the part of the parts dari situ lah kita tahu macam mana kita nak handle nak sebab basically handling a spear is is uh, is must be more difficult than handling a cube kan sebab dia spear glitchet lah right this is like handling a screw like screw shape is easier lah from handling from handling the rest of the shape because dekat sini dia ada macam this one kan dia ada tempat pemegang kan simple okay this is spear this is spear this is cylinder okay cuboid so the rest you boleh nampak lah in 3D shape alright Okay, this is part this is a part symmetry guideline. Remember this. The alpha and beta. This is the alpha, this is beta. I will okay, I will I will show you what is alpha and beta let, uh, next. Okay, this is the angle for alpha and beta. This is the shape. Okay, this is the guideline. Yeah, this is the right? Next. Okay, this is what alpha and beta effect of component symmetry thickness component size and weight on handling time okay this is what alpha and beta nampak tak nampak tak ah, okay this is alpha alpha ni okay alpha ni dia um, angle kalau shape tu ber um, Kebolehan shape tu berpusing Perpendikular Pada uh, Axis of ins insertion Kalau kita tahu Ini mestilah axis of insertion I must get Red lah Better Okay No This is already red I'll try to get hmm, Purple Okay Okay Axis of insertion Mestilah kita This axis of insertion ni lah ni 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 axis of insertion Haa Tu axis of insertion Ke bawah kita, Basically lah Boleh lah kita pergi kan Tengok Dia mesti perpendicular To axis of insertion If this is our axis of insertion So This is the alpha angle The alpha angle Perpendicular Okay This is axis So dia punya angle is perpendicular Macam dia rotate macam ni Okay, this is alpha angle. Ini pula, kalau axis insertion dia macam ni, beta ni, dia punya uh, beta angle mesti, uh, bukan mesti. Macam mana cara dia rotate, how it rotate according to the axis of insertion. Ini per per perpendicular. Serenjang eh. Okay, this is serenjang. Ini selari. Exit tu selari dengan dia cara dia masuk Exit ni serenjang dengan cara dia masuk Kita kena tahu setiap alpha and beta Untuk setiap parts Okay kita kena tahu macam mana dia Berpusing secara Perpendicular to exit of insertion And uh, Selari uh, About the exit of insertion Alright Boleh nampak kan hmm. Next Okay this is the I give you the examples A and B directions B Okay D Ni ada satu Like a Like a tombol Okay like a, macam, like, macam tombol kan Now this is This is male This is female Kasi tahu kan this, the, the male Part The female part Okay Masuk kan Okay where is the axis of insertion of this part? Yeah, this is the axis insertion. 
Ni part dia Okay So Alpha dia Macam mana part tu berputar ha, Berputar macam gini Macam mana alpha tu berputar Pada axis of insertion Mac Adalah hmm, Pada Degree serat, Kebolehan dia Kebolehan dia berputar tu adalah pada degree 180 darjah Sebab kalau dia berputar 90 darjah Dia tak boleh masuk Kan sebab dia punya ni Dia punya ni tak sama panjang dengan ni Kan so Dia mesti berputar 180 Sen dia boleh masuk lah Kalau dia berputar lagi 180 boleh masuk Kalau dia berputar 90 Dia ter terputar Terputar Stern 90 degree dia tak boleh masuk ha, okay. Terputar 180 boleh masuk Okay then dia masuk So exhibition dia ialah 180 And untuk uh, alpha dia Rotation of alpha means this is your insertion So ini rotation of alpha dia Adalah uh, Macam mana dia berpusing Kalau kalau you all perasan is dia, Macam mana dia akan berpusing ke atas lah Basically kalau dia turn around Like is flip Flip upside down This is like flip upside down This this rotation This is rotation like flip upside down Like macam mana kalau dia Flip upside down Upside down kan Macam mana? Tak boleh Totally not Dia mesti berada pada Kedudukan macam ni Yang bawah Bawah The top at the top The bottom at the bottom Baru dia boleh masuk So dia punya Exist uh, Exist of insertion Untuk alpha adalah 360 degree Where you got this? Where you got this? Where you got this? Basically from the Cut line Here Kan? Nampak kan macam mana bentuk step shape Ini tak sama Ini tak sama kan Ini tak sama kan ha, Ini sama dengan ni ha. Yang ni dia sama semua So Dia boleh masuk macam-macam mana arah pun hmm, Same to Same with this Alright Macam ni Kalau dia turn Turn this ini top ni bottom Kalau dia turn around Dia tak boleh masuk Dia mesti Turn balik uh, Flip balik To the original condition Means 360 degree kena pusing Baru dia boleh masuk Okay Tapi beta dia For this Beta dia Macam ni kan Jadi dia punya beta Kan Kosong Sebab bawah dia kosong Bawah dia uh, bawah, Sorry The The bottom is cylinder dia pusing macam mana pun Still boleh fit in Sebab itu kosong dia punya Beta angle Alright Can you understand it And hopefully you can understand it And can imagine Imagine it Okay now What I want you to do now is Please Complete This equation solve this solve this equation isn't it solve uh, solve this operation okay solve this operation for the alpha and beta basically the alpha and beta is the code is the insertion code for our insertion is for the, our insertion worksheet so now you must understand this you get you have some ideas and you can imagine how it works please uh, so please complete this and send back to me uh, before the due date basically not the due date just okay before the due date I will give you the due date the due date later okay that's all for for this session tak boleh too much it's so lengthy people are going to get bored okay we we're going to meet back again uh in a shortest time okay i i i i'm going to complete it complete this soon soon this topic soon so in the shortest time i'm, I'm going to come up with another video on completing on uh, reading the worksheet the manual and the manual worksheet and the handling worksheet okay okay thank you for listening and have a good day.
and stay safe, stay health, stay safe basically, stay at home. Alright, uh, thank you guys. Thank you.